If you have one of these brass buzzers, this is a device that you attach to your mouthpiece and then it can be inserted into your lead pipe so that when you buzz in the mouthpiece it doesn't go through the bell, through the horn. If you have one of these, you might be wondering what are you supposed to do with it. Some people like to use it for their warm-up and I do mouthpiece buzzing during my warm-up but I don't like to use this device during that part of my practice. You can read more about why in my Physical Trumpet Pyramid book. But I do like to use these when I'm practicing literature. I use it specifically for increasing accuracy. If I'm having trouble centering the notes or if I'm cracking too many notes, and this might happen, maybe the intervals are kind of off, you know, kind of awkward, or maybe the, they're not as difficult, but maybe the piece is going very quickly then I'll use the brass buzzer to help me practice that and make it more accurate. So let's take a look at how we would do that. Um, I have a piece here that, I'm, that has very strange intervals in it and so let's take a look at how we would apply the mouthpiece. I like to start first by playing the part on the mouthpiece, on, on the trumpet first. Now normally I would have difficulty playing it, that's why I would pull this out. But right now I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. So I would first start with a section of the piece and let's look at the last two beats of that. We're going to do that back and forth. That third note was a little flat, so we want to go back and forth until all of the notes are as close to in tune as I can make it. Back and forth. Now I would do this maybe ten times for each section that I'm working on. Back and forth. Uh, the, the closer I can get it on the mouthpiece, the more centered it's going to be on the trumpet. Still not quite there. one of the closest ones we've had so far. Now, when I get to where I'm satisfied with that, I will go back another two beats and do that next section. Back and forth again. So when we get satisfied with that, then we put it together. And then we go back and forth like that again. Back and forth. Notice that I'm using the slides when I'm playing on the mouthpiece side. We want to do everything like we would do when we're playing it on the trumpet. We get most benefit out of using this device when we do it that way. Then you put it all together. This 
process of switching back and forth between the trumpet and the mouthpiece helps clear the notes, makes it easier to get them centered, which helps get the sound better, helps with the articulation, and it also helps to get rid of the cracked notes. If this has helped you at all, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. We're going to try to do more of these kinds of videos. Um, or you can visit us at eddielewis.com and check out what we've got going over there. Alright, thank you.